So we at the uh, Cypress uh, Semiconductor here at uh, at Embedded World 2011, and uh, you have a new Cortex M3 processor that you're going to launch, right? Yes. A solution with that. Yes. So called, what is that? It's called PSOC 5. It's a combination of the ARM Cortex M3 along with programmable digital and programmable analog modules. So. Is this a solution designed by Cypress? This is oh. one of our uh, kits that customers use uh, when they are checking out or evaluating the PSOC devices. And there's a PSOC 5 on this chip. This has capacitive sensing. It has a place for a radio. It has an accelerometer. Um, this is a capacitive sensing yes, here? Yes, yes. Uh, what did you say the radio were? So a radio would go into this. Yeah. And then we have an accelerometer. And the demonstration we have right now uh, is using the accelerometer to light the LEDs and make it uh, right. say some words. There. Okay. Heat CD. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Maybe the, the refresh rate of the video is not enough to see it. Yeah. Uh, so th then you have it also over here? Yes. We also we have, the, we have a variety of kits. Here's another kit. Uh, this also is the PSOC 5 with ARM Cortex M3 inside. And it's got a place where you can uh, get to uh, the pens. There's a, uh, an area for wire wrap, or you could stick down a breadboard there, um, solder some headers on there if you wanted to. There's a potentiometer, an LCD, and a USB port, because all of the PSOC devices, uh, PSOC 5 devices, contain uh, USB uh, on the silicon. There are two USB in the top wire. One is for programming, and right. one is uh, to use this board as a USB peripheral. All right. So this would be plugged into uh, the laptop, and something would happen. Yes. Well, you can power it with the yeah. laptop. In fact, I think one? if this one is plugged in, I can show you. I don't know. Oh, let's see. Is this plugged in? Looks like it is. Okay. It's not powering up though. Let's go on of the another computer. Okay. Let's try the other one. Yeah. Over there. Go over here. Let me grab this too. Yeah. So, you would so we'll go over here by our uh, University Alliance uh, area. And now this board is powered up and basically it's just doing a very simple demo where we're uh, taking the, the line voltage, uh, running it through this potentiometer here. Uh, it goes into the uh, PSOC where it gets uh, uh, goes through an ADC, and then there's an algorithm that the ARM Cortex M3 does, which basically turns the readings from the potentiometer into a voltage, and that comes out on the uh, LCD screen as I turn the potentiometer. So, okay. Can we go and check the PSOC? Uh, basically, what what, what uh, Cypress does is uh, sell these kits. Yes. Uh, this is basically software in there, or. With software the hardware, comes with all the kits. With all the Can hardware stuff? This? I'll open this one for you. Uh, this, so this is the kind of mothership, if you will, because it has all the PSOC families, PSOC 5, PSOC 3, PSOC 1. Um, it also has capacitive sensing. It's got the, the place for the radio, the USB, the breadboard, and uh, four, four ports uh, that you can connect to. Uh, instead of two that were on the other board. Also, all the kits come with software. All the software is free, and it's a free download also at Cypress.com. And uh, when is PSOC 5, the solution, on the market? It will be on the market later this year, um, uh, Q3. Like this? Well, this you can get today. This you can get today? You can get PSOC 5 on, the, on our development kits today. It is sampling. We're in the process of, of doing the qualification characterization of the part and that's what it takes to, to uh, qualify for production release. So that's kind of like a sampling uh, based kit? Yes. And then uh, when it's full production is Q3? Yes. So you can start working now and you can ship a, a whole bunch of product for this year later? Yes. Is there anything about the price of what this kind of uh, um, M3 cost? Is I don't, that's, that's not my, uh, I run the university program so pricing is not my forte. Alright, can, can we check the, the, the programming solution over there and pick up the piece of sure. five? Sure. So that's the software, right? Uh, yeah, this is PSOC Creator. Now this is main.c, so this is a C code. Uh, and uh, So that goes on the arm, right? This is what would go into the arm, yes. 
And how about the other, all the other stuff? Where does that go? Well, it goes into the analog or digital uh, modules on the device. So there's there's uh, three things that happen with the software. One from this library over here. Um, this is how you build your hardware. There's analog modules, there's digital modules, and there's system-wide modules. Okay, so you build your hardware and configure it, and then you go to the main.c and you write some C code, which is going to yeah. control that hardware. And then the third thing is, is that you build it, which is putting the hardware and the software together, and what you get is a hex file, and that file is downloaded to the PSOC, and that's how, how this works. All right. And uh, so where do these kinds of uh, chips go at the end? Well, PSOC is actually everywhere. It's in things from Adidas tennis shoes to Cisco servers, washing machines, automotive, uh, cell like phones. The car? Lots of cell phones. Uh, yes. Ca capacitive sensing is one of our big applications. Um, and it's in, uh, like I said, uh, many, many cell phones. Um, just all kind, we have over 9,000 customers who have designed PSOC into various applications. And millions of actual people out there are using that, right? Yes, and uh, sometime this quarter we will have shipped our billionth PSOC chip. That's billion with a B. Uh, and the, 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 the main strength of uh, Cypress is uh, something to do with analog and digital? Well, it's the fact that PSOC, as far as I know, is the only chip that combines digital programmable modules an ARM Cortex M3 and programmable analog modules. All right, and uh, you were showing some sensors over there, right? Yes, this is this is some more capacitive uh, touch sense that we have put together for our automotive. Uh, this is a proximity sensor, and as you can see, as your hand gets close, uh, the LED bars go up, and that's just showing that it's it's reading your body's capacitance, and this might be used in an application in a car like a dome light where you won't actually have to touch the light, you just get close to it and the light will go on or off. Here, the, the touch. So this is a, a, a demo of our multi-touch uh, uh, product that we can do in PSOC. And what multi-touch is, is it means not one finger, not two fingers. We can actually do more than ten fingers, but of course people only have ten fingers. Ten so, fingers in this little? Well, this is kind of small, so it's hard to do ten fingers. But as you can see, I have one finger, two fingers, three, four, Five, and I don't know if you can see this map over here, but as I, you know, I can zoom in or zoom out using gestures, just like uh, any other touch screen. So this is something uh, uh, that PSOC can do, and it can do. Uh, it's in that part. Uh, yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. Part of it. And uh, over here is a touch screen as well. This is also a touch screen, and this one is also multi-touch. You can see I got five fingers. I've got ten fingers, and it could actually do more. If I had more fingers, I could put more on yeah. there. Your feet so up there? Yeah, yes, you could do yeah. your feet too. Um, so you can do all kinds of th all kinds of gestures with this, you know. Are, are you, is your system in tablets out there? Um, it is in some tablets. I can't mention exactly which ones. Some might be. But it's definitely in some tablets out there, some that are on the market currently. And you were mentioning that you work with the outreach with universities, something like that? Yes, I am the director of the Cypress University Alliance. That's a program where we partner with key universities worldwide so that professors and students are able to take advantage of this PSOC technology in their lab so they can learn it in school. And that's part of the tools that they need in their, in their toolbox when they graduate to, to make them more valuable as employees to their to their future employers. So you give them the kits for free? Yeah, we have a budget where we donate kits for free and we also have a program with academic discounts. So and they also get like uh, support and help and uh, we, teacher uh, what's called uh, uh, Yes, we have online we have online support. Um, we're developing curricula for teachers to use uh, when when uh, teaching PSOC to the students. How old a student can start working on this kind of stuff? We actually have uh, uh, 2,100 high school teams uh, in the U.S. Who, in uh, something called the First Robotics Contest that are using PSOC in part of the uh, control module for the robot. So we see students as young as high school seniors that are using PSOC um, and then they can get very sophisticated as they go through their college years and even grad students. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank Thanks. you.